Hello, good morning. First of all, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity of being here today in this validation of the transnational approach. I'm going to talk about the, the present indications that we are having, we have with this technique, uh, how we select the patients, and perhaps how could, where could we go in the future. First of all, I would like to show you this timeline of the treatment of the rectal cancer. Uh, on the upper side of the screen, you can see the evolution of the full thickness local extension of rectal tumors since the transcendental extension going to the, through the TAM, TAOR, the TAM is that it's a treatment that we are using nowadays, and the endoscopic submucosal extension. And on the lower side of the screen, you can see the radical extension for the rectal cancer since the total mass rectal extension described by health going to less invasive techniques as laparoscopic, robotic, or nowadays the transanal total mesorectal extension in an attempt to reduce the morbidity working uh, with minimal invasive surgeries, always working in multidisciplinary teams nowadays and trying to individualize the treatment for our patients to improve the surgical outcomes. But for me, I think it's really important to know what was the beginning, uh, what are uh, which are the paths that brought us to this uh, point, to the transanal total mass rectal station. On one side, uh, we have to focus on the surgery for rectal cancer that began its way uh, at the beginning of the last century with the treatment of the radical resection for the anus of mesentery limbs or the sphincter respiring alternative described by Abel. After we continue with the total mesorectal extension, as I told you, but also with the first publications about the transanal approach, and finally with minimal invasive surgeries as laparoscopic or robotic. On the other side, it's really important the experience that we get with the transanal extension of the rectal tumors, with the full thickness local extension, and after the TEM and the TEMIS. And finally, we shouldn't forget the skills that we could get with the uh, natural orifice surgeries as nose and nodes. And all these things together make us develop the transanal and transabdominal approach.